Hi everyone, um, I'm Gareth and this is my colleague Jilly. We're both ex-primary school teachers and part of the education team with CleverTouch. And CleverTouch are really proud to announce the launch of the latest update to Lynx Whiteboard. That's our free to use presentation software, Lynx 8. Eight reasons to love Lynx 8 are the series of videos that you're now watching one of and we hope you enjoy them. Hi everyone, Gareth here with another of our reasons to love our latest version of Lynx Whiteboard, Lynx 8. So let's uh, go straight there now. It's uh, reason number seven, it's our CCA folder. That stands for Clever Content Area and it's a dedicated folder where you can create your own library of go-to resources. So if we hit the plus button, we can go straight to the content area. This is where we have the media search, but of course we also have the local content. So these are both folders of content that the Lynx developers have given you, but they could also be your folders on your device that you've mapped to. So for example, for me, I've got my teacher stuff folder from all my years as a primary school teacher. But we've also got the CCA folder on my device, it's called My Content. And this is a very special folder because you can basically build your own go-to resources that you'd like to use. I've already been having a tinker and I made one earlier. It's easy enough to delete things from my CCA folder. I can just drag them down to this bin here. I can also make folders within the CCA folder too. So as we're making more and more resources, we can organize them. Let's have a go at making something that I'd like to keep and use again. So I'm going to make a nice little logo with these shapes here. So I think I'd like that semicircle to go behind my pentagon there. And then hopefully this arrow will go in front. That's nice. So I really like this uh, Aztec looking logo that I've created. So I'm going to join all of those together using the group button. And I'm quite happy with the size of that. I should have shrink it down a little bit though, I think. Now, I want to use this logo every time I do a new page. So what I'm going to do is just drag this over here and drop it in. And there you can see it's now an item in my CCA folder. And any time I want to use it, I just pull it out and there it is. Exactly the same as the Lynx logo here. So you can see how you can build your own collection of go-to resources whenever you need them. There could be some that you've already found when you were using the media search, but you just want to pop them into there ready to use whenever. Let me just get rid of all of these. I can highlight them all in one go and just go to the delete option. Now, the teaching team at Clever Touch, that's myself, Gillian Ryan, we've all been messing around with our CCA folders and we've created a bank of resources that you can use. We tried to think of all of the physical objects you might use for maths, for example. So let me show you what we've created that you can download from our website if you choose to. So let's have a look. We have got our geography folder where there are lots of OS map symbols that you can just immediately pull out onto the screen should you need those. Let's go back. We also have the grammar folder where we have these nice little labels that we can pull out and we can place over text very easily and, and mess around with and stretch and so on should you need to. That also includes things like the word of the day that you can bring out or um, a wow word. So nice little things like that that you can use uh, on top of any text that you bring onto the screen. We also have um, the history part where we've got things like timelines that we can bring on as well. Oh, excuse me. I think I tapped the screen with my arm there, but there you go. There's my nice little timeline symbol. Um, if we go back here, we've also got the visual timetable, really important. So instead of having uh, laminated stickers all around your Clever Touch screen, you can have actual symbols on your slides. So we've got all of the daily events, such as register, good old playtime, chance to get a coffee, um, and we've got all of the various subjects as well. And you can bring all of these out to make your visual timetable, and of course, shrink them down as you need to you wouldn't want them that big, you won't get anything else on the screen. But the big um, area that we're really proud of is our maths folder. So in here, as you can see with all these folders, there's loads of resources that you can bring onto the screen. Just to give myself some room, I'll just do a bit more deleting. 
There we go. So let's have a look. We have got 2D shapes that we can drag on really quickly. We have 3D shapes. And these are all labelled, and if you want to change those labels to a different language, you can do so very easily. They're all editable. Um, we have got um, bar models. And what's great about these is that when you drag these out, you can tap in there and you can type in or just use the pens and handwriting the numbers that you'd like to use for your bar models and so on. So let me just shrink that down. Let's have a look what else we've got in here for you. Cues and air rods. And these should all work quite nicely with the sizing that we've put onto these as well. So you can see how they kind of like just link together. So you can do those number bonds with ease. And we also have place value. So when we're looking at our ones and our tens, etc., we can bring these out really quickly. And we've got fractions, loads of folders of fractions. So if I go into ninths and we go into the sectors images, I can pull out an image of ninths. If we go back to fractions and maybe we go to sixths, I can also bring out a similar fraction and you'll see that they come out the same size as well. Let's go back. We've got the graphs too. So this means that you can pull out a graph paper onto the page. We can shrink that right down and we've also made it so that these are editable so that you can click in on any of the numbers and things like that and change those. And we also have lots of measures so you can bring out uh, nice little backgrounds, scales and things like that to write on and uh, temperature gauges, weights, etc. Money, so we've got um, our current UK currency in there, we've got the US currency, we've got the Euro, the Australian dollars and we often help out some of our colleagues abroad and we'll make other currencies too, whatever's needed. You, you of course can do that yourself with the CCA folder. Um, we've also got Numicon and part hole diagrams, place value counters, very useful, including uh, grids that you can drag out to use those place value counters with as well. So there's so much that we've put into there that you can use whenever you need it. To get access to some of the downloadable content that we've created, all you need to do is go to clevertouch.com and in the latest stories, the blog area, that's where you'll find the kind of stories and all of the information and where to download a lot of our um, resources from. So if we just head out to that website now, we can see that currently we've got lots of things about the coronation coming up. Um, so we've created, for example, a links file all about the coronation that you can uh, download right there and that's got some fa fantastic interactive activities as well as lots of information for teaching your children about the coronation. But also you'll find within the website a page from where you can download our very own CCA folder. And we hope you find it really useful.